Well, hi guys, welcome back again to my kitchen. Today I'm going to cook Jamaican style hot roast beef the way me cook it in my kitchen. Me I got turn up the thing for the and for I say all the thing turn up loud on the come on and let's do it. Cause it's the Indian. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just like a cocoon girl. Now this is two pounds of beef. You can't use the ones that have the bone like inside of the meat, but this one have no bones. Just straight meat, no bone whatsoever. Okay. Now, as far as it goes, we're going to put green pepper, Irish potato, a medium potato chopped in four. Same thing with your carrot. You don't make it small, make it big, just like this. And then I have one medium onion and I chopped it in four. You're going to add your pepper, one stalk of fresh scallion, all right? We're also going to add to that some dried thyme. If you have fresh thyme, you go ahead and use it. Garlic, salt, black pepper, steak seasoning all spice otherwise known as pimento seed paprika and browning the catch to this dish it won't get to have that certain kind of flavor so you're going to also add two teaspoon of brown sugar so to that we're going to use some ketchup maybe two tablespoons of ketchup no more than that also guys we're going to need one bait bag i'm not going to show you the box that it came into because i'm not promoting anybody bait bag right so but this is what you're going to need this is called a bait bag so let's get all this mixture together so you go ahead and you put all your veggies in then you're going to add your black pepper thyme and once again guys i'm using the dry thyme i'm going to add a teaspoon of chopped garlic also i'm going to put some pimento seeds in here a teaspoon of paprika it's also going to give it color and flavor a pinch of salt and i'm also going to be adding my steak seasoning two teaspoon of brown sugar less than a half a teaspoon of browning now guys you're going to have to work all this in with your hands make sure it's not unclean because i don't know why people come on the house come eat dirty food right and then they say i mean making people i'm going to eat dirty food so make sure when i them clean and make rub up this thing out this is all you're going to do you're just going to mix it all in here and then guys when i get done mixing this all in what i'm going to do i'm going to let this sit for about an hour before i start cooking this just let it marinate and then when i come back i'm going to show you how i'm going to get this gold into the bake bag set it up into my container for baking and then show you how to get this thing going in the oven so see you back now here you have it guys this meat has been just marinating for about an hour you are going to take your bake bag just like so open it up and all you're going to do is get all the meat and the veggie inside of the bag so we go ahead and we'll put your meat in and you put your veggies in don't leave anything out just throw everything in there now what i'm going to do next after i get everything inside the bait bag the ketchup goes in right no more than two tablespoon of ketchup directly into the bait bag two tablespoon of ketchup is like about that amount all right don't put no water in there don't put no oil in there all you got to do is tie this thing up just like this just like so make sure that it's tied properly see so this is how it's supposed to look this is my baking pan all you got to do is add water to it. I'm going to put two cups of water inside here. And then I'm going to put my bait bag directly inside of the water. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to let it bake for a full hour on 375. After an hour, I'll check it, turn it back down to about 350 for another 20 to 25 minutes, and it should be done. All right? So see you back when this thing all done. There you go, guys. It's all done. 
baked for 375 for 45 minutes that I took it out enjoy it guys give it a try let me know how you like it send me a message let me know what you want me to cook next don't forget to like and subscribe and once again guys from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy